Hey, greetings from Washington. Uh, today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Um, I love grapples on tractors. I think they're the coolest tool in the world. Um, today I, I, I borrowed uh, a grapple from work. So I'm gonna be comparing this guy. This is my made in the USA work saver 60 inch root rake grapple. I'm gonna be comparing that guy to this guy. This is an LS MRG 5566A. They'll call this a root grapple. I'm not going to get into the naming of these implements and grapples because I think it's completely silly and arbitrary how they do it. But there's really big differences between these two. Um, the root grapple that I'm using, you know, flat bottom, whereas a root rake style grapple, rounded bottom. This flat bottom super long on the root grapple. The root rake grapple, super short. So they do different jobs really well. Um, I wanted to see how they did around the farm. So we're going to go through a couple challenges just like a real television show. Um, the challenges are gonna be moving some logs. We're gonna move some iron bathtubs or porcelain bathtubs or whatever they're made out of, really slippery. We're gonna move an old junk lawnmower. Uh, we're gonna move a pile of branches and we're gonna go dig out some blackberries because the only good blackberry is a dead blackberry. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be super fun. Um, I'm gonna install them, uh, show you how to do that as well and uh, then maybe give you an opinion on, uh, on uh, the pros and cons of each kind. All right, here we go.
log test went pretty good. I'm really amazed it grabbed that huge group of logs. Um, my root rake won't grab that much stuff because it's, it's got that big flat bottom. So that's really, 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 really nice. Um, it also doesn't damage the ground as much because the root rake kind of digs in. Um, we're going to try something else. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's pick up uh, an old uh, lawnmower, see what happens. Fine. That worked pretty good. Um, you definitely got to come from above a lot of times, but it's nice that there's space in between the tines. So if you got stick something sticking up, you can kind of, you know, put it in between them and still still grab. Um, let's go grab some tire. Go pick up a big pile of brush. Okay, that's fun. Uh, let's try one more thing. Let's try to... Oh yeah, yeah, I got things sticking to me here. Ah, it's blackberries. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go stick it in a pile of blackberries and see if I can tear them out. That's one of my favorite things to do. The only good blackberry is a dead blackberry.
Okay, let's see how this thing did um, in the blackberries. Kind of tore that out a little bunch. It, you know, it didn't do too bad. Um, you know, these this kind of grapple is a flat bottom, and so if you articulate it all the way down, it doesn't bend over as far as like a root rake will, which will come over all the way, and you can kind of pull back with it. Um, this one will kind of be flat when you got it down. Here, I'll I'll move the lever so you can see. And I'll, uh, I'll show a video here of, of a root rake grapple instead of a root or what I call a rock grapple. I call it that because if you're picking up rocks, you can, you can kind of pop it up and down and sift the dirt out. So I call it a rock rake. You can pick up big rocks with it. It's just got that nice flat bottom. It's a really fun grapple to use. Um, out here where we're doing a lot of blackberry clearing, all up there, um, it would take a lot of time with this grapple because it's not able to squeeze as much and tear you know it's got that big opening in it but man lifting up uh big stuff like those uh those big pieces of wood that were just huge it got them all it took me like four trips to do that with my uh root rate grapple so there's a great use for this style of grapple um i wish i could keep it i'm just borrowing it to try it out and i'm gonna have to clean it off too because i was trying to rake through the dirt it does an okay job of that, but it's not a root rake. You know, it doesn't rake out the roots. So, I don't know, there's that. Um, I'm gonna go kind of do the same stuff uh, with the other grapple and kind of see how I feel about the comparison there. So we'll try that.
look at how uh, how that did. Uh, first of all, it's, it's kind of hard to see here, but here's a giant pile from that one grab I did uh, with the root rake. This is with the root grapple. It's just a smaller pile. Well, it's been about a year since I made that video, or, and uh, just <laughs> just now getting to, around to uh, editing it and putting it together. Maybe it hasn't been a year. Maybe it's been six months. I'll give myself credit. I'm not that lazy. Um, but I guess we need to come up with a uh, a uh, a verdict here as to uh, which style's better. You know, that flat bottom, what I would call a rock rake grapple, um, or a a curved like clamshell style root rake um so we'll just go through uh the benefits of each uh the first thing is always how easy it is to uh, put it on and take it off um these root rakes they're a pain um you gotta open it up and it's just you're always angling funny to get it on it's not as easy as uh something like that rock rake um because it sits flat on the ground so you just back or a drive up to it, hook in and go, kind of like a set of forks. You just get in there, clip and go. Um, so that is a lot easier um, for sure and a lot less frustrating. Um, as far as picking up uh, the wood we were doing, uh, boy, that rock rake having that flat bottom and that arched top did a great job of picking up huge amounts of material and, uh, and moving them effectively, whereas the root rate kind of kind of struggled. You know, you grab a few things, but if you tried to grab it all, it just wasn't happening. Um, so the rock rake definitely uh, wins there. Uh, picking up the bathtubs, uh, they both did it just fine. That's kind of an easy thing. Just go up, clamp something and go, and it's rigid, so it'll move with you. Uh, but um, the rock rake having that flat bottom, you can kind of slide under something and uh, clamp down gently and maybe it's a little less damaging um, whereas the root rake I've got no choice but to just pinch grab hold and go um, and then moving around the lawnmower kind of same deal the root rake I can kind of get on under it and cradle it and go um, whereas the uh, or the rock rake had that flat bottom so you can get under it cradle it and go whereas the root rake you know you got to kind of grab onto the thing um, so Big, oddly shaped items, you know, the flat bottom rake or the rock rake definitely wins. Then we get into doing piles of tires. So you could grab huge amounts of tires with that flat bottom rake, but you didn't have that fine control. So the, the root rake, I could go out and grab one tire and move it, um, and I'd be in very good control of it. Whereas the rock rake, not really so much. You don't have control on the two tops either. They just kind of go down together and sometimes didn't want to clamp down as tight on one side as the other. So uh, for fine control of stuff, um, the root rake definitely wins. Um, doing the brush pile, root rake hand, hands down wins. You can go into any pile you want, squeeze it as tight as you want and move away with all that fine material. So like this giant pile of stuff we got here that we were not allowed to, uh, that we weren't allowed to burn during the summer we got plans for it don't worry um picking up that stuff and moving it happened way faster with the root rake um i, I got huge amounts of moved so i like that and then going out and doing blackberries um that's where there was some danger involved to the machine um so if we had a flat bottom rake like that rock rake it's kind of like your bucket and if you want to dig you've got to expose your cylinders. So if you push too hard and this bottom edge starts doing that, you could pull that cylinder out and I've seen it happen, people just yanking the cylinders out. Whereas the root rake is made to do that. The bottom of it's you know, already kind of curved towards the ground. So you can have that cylinder mostly in, push through the ground, pop out root systems. I love that. So uh, maybe you can already tell, which one I think is better, I think the root rake is better. Even though it's not as good at picking up huge things, it's not very often I'm picking up a huge stump. It's like once you clear a piece of land, you're probably not gonna be doing huge stumps over and over. 
Now, if you're in forestry applications or demolition even, and you do need to grab huge amounts of stuff, bar none, a flat bottom rake is better. But for us, for daily use, for small tasks, even going and picking up like a, a thing of fencing, a roll of fencing like this guy, it's just, it, it's just easier to use that rock rake to go over, wrap it up, squeeze it, because maybe it's not as hard, you know, and so, whereas the, the, the flat bottom rake would have trouble controlling it, this guy had no problem picking up small items around the farm way easier. So if I'm gonna give a verdict, I am gonna say that the root rake is the winner. That guy right there, that's why we love it. This is the uh, the work saver. Um, LS, who made the that rock rake, also makes a version of this. Great, great thing. I just love root rake grapples because they're so adaptable. So they're better. And it's also better because we spent the money on it and I'd feel really bad if I didn't get the best thing for all the money I spent. So we're a winner by spending our money on the right one. And, and if you spent your money on the other one, you can get real mad and disagree with me in the comments. <laughs> but in the end, it's whatever's best for you. Even if you just get a set of forks, these are the poor man's grapple. Um, a set of forks will do so much stuff. You might not be able to do the digging, but you could do all the other tasks that we do. Just take you a little longer, cost you a lot less money. So there's that too. All right, well, it's a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we're going to go play in the mud more. We'll see you around.